here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today I am here with a video on how to make the neck opening of our Boho Dreams poncho smaller. Now obviously I've made this poncho and I started wearing it and when I was filming it for the lookbook it was still okay. Although it looked a bit big it still kept on my shoulders. But then afterwards I started wearing it more because I love it so but it started coming off my shoulders. So yes, it was time for me to reduce the neck opening. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce the neck opening of our poncho from this to this. So I hope you will come to this video should you need to and use this technique I am going to show you. So with your leftover yarn, the same hook as you used for the poncho, I am going to make my slip knot, insert the hook, and you can get started where you like, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to get started about here. So on the side of my poncho, right in front of that first joint, so I can straight away tell you what to do there. So you're just going to get started by doing a standing double crochet. So you yarn over as if you are already crocheting and you place a double crochet. Then you are going to be placing a double crochet on top of every double crochet in the row below, of course. When you meet the location where two squares were joined, you're going to do the same thing as we did before when we were making the poncho. One double crochet into the chain space, one double crochet into the join, wherever you can get into sensibly is fine, and another double crochet into the chain space. That gives you just enough uh, stitches to bridge that distance there and then you continue doing your double crochets on top of the double crochets now when you get to the tip make sure you work until you've done the three double crochets in this corner here. Then of course you have your chain space and that belongs to this square. Then you have the square which makes the tip down below here. So this is my tip of my poncho. And then you have the chain space of the next square there. So we are going to completely ignore this middle square and we are going to be using the two chain spaces in the corners of these squares here. And while before we were making our corners below here and in the corners we are actually increasing, we are now going to have to decrease. So the shape that we make needs to be the same, but of course we're coming from a different direction. So instead of doing three double crochets, one chain, three double crochets. We are going to be doing three double crochets and another three double crochets, but we're going to finish them together. So they end in a point. So let me show you. So this chain space we are going to use for the location of our first three double crochets, which are only finished halfway. Then we go over to this chain space here, so skipping this one, going over to this one, we place another three half finished double crochets in there, ready for that together in a moment. There we go. So now I have seven loops on my hook. I yarn over and you pull through the seven loops. There we go. And now we are going to continue doing our double crochets into each stitch. There we 
we go. So this is what it looks like. So in a way we have reduced by six stitches while before here we were always increasing with six stitches. So I'm now going to make my way all the way to the other tip here and I will do the same thing and then I will meet you here where I started the round. <laughs> So I have done my second tip here. I have now made it all the way around. This was my standing double crochet. It's closed up for me. So I'm going to go under the next V and do a slip stitch to close the round. And yes, I am going to do another round because the neck opening has expanded quite considerably. So I am going to, you know, fix it basically. So chain up two and then same thing again, one double crochet in each stitch. Now when we get to the tip it's slightly different what you have to do so I'll meet you there. Now when you get to the tip you just need to take a moment and look at the V's. So these are the two V's in the middle. Then we have one, two here. So one, two, three, and then I have one, two, three. So you need to get the six V's that are located in the dip, really. You need to get those, and those are the ones that you are going to do together. So you're going to do six double crochets together over six stitches. And of course here, these are the six middle stitches around that dip or the tip that I've been calling it. And as you can see, you now have seven loops, yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, and then you continue in the next stitch with your double crochet. So let me just do a few so I can show you what it looks like. There we go. See, so we have taken those middle ones here together and this will reduce our neck opening quite nicely. So like I said, each time with six stitches here, six stitches on the back, so 12 stitches uh, taken off in each round. So I'm thinking, do you know, I still don't know how many rounds I should do. Because we've got double crochets here, it doesn't look wrong that we have you know double crochets at the top so I'm not worried about that but yeah maybe again I should just do the two rounds wear it and see what it's like we have the skill we have the yarn we can you know we've made the garment we can amend it as and when we need to so I'm going to finish my round finish it here and I think I will leave it at that. If I then do do another round it will be the repeat of this round here of course where we are using the six middle stitches here in the dip to crochet together. <music> So I am just doing my last double crochet here, finishing my round with a slip stitch. There we go. I have now done two rounds of decreases around the neck opening of my Boho Dreams poncho. I'm just going to wear it now and see how it goes. And that's the best thing to do if it's your own garment. Just keep on amending it the way you like it best. So I will see now how this reduced neck opening feels and how it looks when I'm wearing it. In the meantime, I have added a third and fourth round of reduction of the neck opening. Now I have not sewn in the ends for these last two rounds, so I can still undo them if I don't like them. So I will be once again wearing my poncho and seeing how it goes. So I hope you have found this technique a useful one and you might be able to use it for other projects as well. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!